Alan Menken had been uh, working on these animated features um, that had been enormously successful, and he worked with a brilliant man who basically transformed that uh, that whole genre named Howard Ashman, who very unfortunately um, grew sick from uh, complications from AIDS and died. And, and we should say he wrote The Little Mermaid. Little Beauty Mermaid, the Beauty and the Beast, and began Latin. And um, Disney w was looking for someone to uh, work with Alan and sort of uh, continue in, in the tradition that he and Howard Ashman had begun. And... Um, met with me and we had we had a very good meeting. Um, the, the thing I remember about the meeting was that um, I was in California and I was told they wanted to meet with me and so I insisted on them taking me to lunch. <laughs> um, so I made the folks from Disney take me to lunch. Um, we had a very nice meeting but then and I just wrote it off thinking I would never hear from them again. Um, and then but lo and behold about a month later um, Alan and I were actually doing a, an AIDS benefit um, in, in New York and, and we were standing backstage and he said, I, I, I heard you had a really good meeting with Disney and they liked you a lot and would you ever consider doing just um, lyrics to work with me? And you know, I sort of jumped at the chance and the next thing I knew we were, you know, we were working together on Pocahontas. Let's talk a little bit about the difference between writing a song for theater and writing a song for film. You know, there's a reason they call them movies, because things are moving, <laughs> and, um, and you really can't just, I mean, on stage, as you pointed out, often the most amazing moment in a, in a piece is the star comes downstage, and they hit her with, or him, with three spots, and they sing for three and a half minutes, and the house comes down, you know? Can't do that in a, in a movie. You have to find a way that um, the camera can be moving, and that um, usually, particularly in animation, the, the, the scenery can be moving. Um, and, you know, my, my joke was that if you're gonna write a ballad for a character in, in animation, she better be going over a waterfall in a canoe. <laughs> um, but but what I would like to ask you, though, does the way you write that song, the way you construct the song, does it differ because you're writing for that woman who's going over the falls in the, in the boat? Well, um... Lyrically, do you have to match? To some extent, yeah. I mean, a lot of it's the collaboration with the, with the storyboard artists, um, who, which is what makes doing animation fun because there's this whole other artistic component. Um, and, and you have to work out with them what's, what's going to be happening visually. So, yeah, it, it does affect it. Um, but sometimes they can, they can take what you're doing as, as with a song like Colors of the Wind, which is essentially philosophical, and they, they invent their own visual journey for it. 